And when we done, I make them buy me bone, man I'm not some dumb Talk about the way, what he say? He can tell I ain't missing no meals Come through and fuck him in my automobile Let him eat it with his grills He keeps telling me to chill He keeps telling me it's real That he love my sex appeal He said he don't like I'm bony He wants something he can grab So I pull up in the Jag Made weather with the jab Like dun 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 What's up guys, it's your girl Sunny back with another video and today guys, we're back with yet again another reaction video, I guess you could say. Um, This is like one of them videos where I do research on some beef and I'm kind of curious about it. You know, if you watch my Fifth Harmony video, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So basically today we're going to be reacting to this whole Nicki Minaj and a little mix, you know, sticking up for Jessie thing. I've seen it on Twitter. I feel like I got an understanding, but I don't think I officially know where it all stemmed from you know what the thing was it, it seemed like you know because they were and especially because they say she was attacking Leanne most of all it seems like I, I heard something down the lines of Jesse's trying to act black or something but I'm trying to figure out where Nikki came into play with all that because you know unless I really don't know where things were left. That's what I'm really trying to figure out. So this, hopefully this video gives me some insight. Also, if you're a Little Mix fan or you're a Nicki Minaj fan, you let me know what, what's tea, what, what I missed. Because I've seen some stuff on Twitter. You know, I've seen Twitter. I'm there. But like other publicity sites and as far as what Nicki said on Twitter and what Jesse said and what Little Mix said, I didn't keep up with every single thing. So y'all let me know if she misses something. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, here we go. And first of all, we do our thing though. Before she hit, I was watching her before she got this big. But hey, that's just has the point. I hope it's nothing down like, like the little mix thing. Cause I just hate when girl groups beef and stuff, you know? It just seems unnecessary to me. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. There is some drama brewing between the UK pop group Little Mix and their former Oh yeah, and I, I remember Jessie she Nelson. left the group. Also, Nicki Minaj came out and defended Jessie and she took shots at one of the members from Little Mix named Leanne Pinnock. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna kind of break down this whole story. For those who don't know who Jessie is, Jessie used to be a part of this girl group called Little Mix. And she and just she recently left. went solo and now That's she has a new she single just out left. with Nicki Minaj called Boys. And her new single is doing pretty well, but her former group That's members good. don't seem to be too happy about it. In fact, oh. some of the fans noticed that all of the singers from the group on Instagram. But it's being alleged that they actually didn't unfollow her. They were blocked by Jessie. Now, if you all watched my last video, oh. I actually broke down this whole story about how Jesse Nelson left her group Little Mix. And I would suggest I that you all that. watch it if you want to get more of a backstory on the group. But Jesse did claim that she actually left the group, left the group because she it left. was affecting her mental health. But I kind of suspected that was yeah, really I knew, part I heard of about the reason why she left. I think another reason why she left is because she wanted to go solo. She was tired of being compared to the other girls in the mm. group and she just wanted to stand on her own. And I don't think mm. there's anything wrong with Typical Jessie thing. wanting to do her own thing, but I did have an issue with the way she mm -hmm. departed from her group. She cut off all Wait, communication she with them. She stopped oh. talking to them and she unfollowed Dang. them. It was even rumored Dang. that she blocked them. In fact, this TikToker exposed some DMs that he allegedly got from one of the group members, Leanne, and Leanne allegedly DM'd him this. She blocked, she blocked this, us, cut, cut us, us off. off. Horrible person. So from the looks of it, Jesse is clearly not fooling with her former group members at all. And it's unfortunate because she was actually best friends with these girls. Maybe and they did something though, we don't know. Group, her group members, Jade, Leanne, and right, Kate, that's were very supportive weird. of her because they thought she was leaving supporting her on her mental health. But mm -hmm. I don't think they knew that Jesse was going to go solo. I don't think they saw that coming at all. <laughs> she and now that she has come out and dropped her new <laughs> single, the girls That's are not feeling man. it. They're not feeling it. And some people might say, oh, they're just jealous that Jesse is doing well without them. But no, I think they were blindsided and they were very hurt that Jesse cut them off. Mm -hmm. And even after Jesse cut them off, she's still using their name to promote herself. I feel so it. the girls aren't feeling her. They're just not feeling her. 
And one of the members, Perry Edwards, even unfollowed mm. everybody from their team who started working with Jesse, which included the makeup artist, their manager, and their choreographer. Also, one of the other members named Leanne Pinnock oh. is not happy with Jesse's video either. In fact, when Jesse dropped her video, Leanne reposted this speech on her IG story of Amanda Seals okay. saying this at the BET Social Awards. Pride in our power, strengthen our strides. You can attempt to imitate, but soul you cannot buy. Leanne also liked this video of this social commentator, ZZ Mills, who specifically called out Jesse. Oh. Jesse looks basically the same complexion. I can't see what Jesse. Understand there are white women now trying to appear racially ambiguous because they understand the benefit of appearing like that. Oh, so I was Leanne somewhat right with what I said earlier. Post, but she also allegedly DM'd a fan and told them to call out Jesse. Now, this TikToker named No Hun, who is a huge Little Mix fan, wanted to post a dance video to Jesse's new song, Boys. Leanne allegedly DM'd him and told him no. He said, OMG, Leanne, we're all okay. She said, do a video about her being a black mm. bitch instead. And then she allegedly said that Jesse blocked her and her group. And also Jesse is quote unquote a horrible So it was her person. that made that video. Now I understand that Leanne was... is emotional about this whole situation. Everyone in Little Mix is in their So that was her that sent the messages and I earlier. Get it, but I don't think Leanne should have DM'd this TikToker. If she DM'd him at all, I'm mm. just going to assume that this is all alleged. But if she actually DM'd him, I don't think she should have done that because it does make her look a certain way and people right. can't spin narratives and claim that she's just if being it was a alleged, hater and being right. jealous. It's just not the professional thing to do. So I don't think she should have done that. But I do understand that she mm -hmm. probably feels a way about the video itself. There has been a lot of conversation no about Jesse being a quote unquote blackfish. And this whole conversation does not surprise me because I knew this was gonna happen. When mm -hmm. I first saw her video for boys, I knew it was gonna be met with some controversy because Jessie is a British white woman who's rebranding herself as an urban artist and making herself look racially ambiguous and perpetuating <laughs> black stereotypes and using the black aesthetic. I got something to say, but I'm gonna wait till the and big. And that's not gonna sit well with some people. It's not. Now, on the flip side, I do understand that Jessie is highly influenced by the black culture and she did admit in her mm. recent interview with Vulture that she actually mm. loves black culture and black music and that's what she grew up on and i don't see anything wrong with her being influenced but she has to be mindful of how she presents herself you don't see artists like jojo doing what jesse is doing jojo is a great r right. artist but she's not pretending to be something she's not she's not cosplaying as a woman of color for cool points and she has enough respect mm. for the culture to not do that. Jesse, on the other hand, is right. doing way too much. And she's very right. tone deaf and unaware, which is why she's getting the backlash right. she's getting. And hopefully the backlash mm. can force her to mm. consider how she's branding herself. And JoJo, they say her voice sounds black. Jessie is so, talented, hey. but people are going to overlook her talent <laughs> if she continues to do what she's doing. Now, let me switch gears back to Leanne. Mm. When it came out that Leanne was allegedly DMing this TikToker, the word got back to Jesse mm. and Nicki Minaj, and Nicki defended Jesse, and she took shots at Leanne. This is what she said. As soon as people can't I mean, get hey, with you, you got some people. they tend to want to stop your bag. If I was rocking with you for 10 years, and there was oh. nothing so horrible about you, and I kept on she said. doing business with you and getting money with you and shit like that for 10 years. And then, and then as soon as we part ways, I'm like texting people, telling people to bring shit up negative about you. Immediately, that person has to wear a big red clown nose mm -hmm. and pair a big red fucking clown boot because you're a fucking clown. When people part ways, go about your fucking business. I've seen so many people utilize situations when it, you know, when when they felt it was beneficial <laughs> to them. Um, certain people, mm. you might be black, I mean, you hey, might be black and, hey. and white mix. It's and supposed to be bittersweet. You're attempting mm -hmm. to be, you know, black this, black that. But you may not have been doing it eight, seven, six, five years ago. But now it's convenient. 
I knew she was going to say that. Nikki, I want to that word. Benefit. You ain't talk about this she shit. She ain't lying, though, but I'm saying, though. And as soon as you see she got a video come out with Nicki Minaj and Puffy, now you sending the stations for text messages and all this shit. Print them text messages out. Right. Bust your ass open and shove it up your motherfucking ass. Okay? If you want a solo career, baby girl, just say that. You can go out and put your own music. We're going to support you and love you. That's mm. it. You don't have to attack someone else. If that's how you felt, why would you keep keying with her and being in the video with her for 10 years? So that's what Nikki had to say in response to Leanne. Now, I understand that Nikki has a record with <laughs> Jesse and that. she feels the need to defend her, but it didn't sit right with me to see her go so hard at Leanne, especially since Leanne You know Nikki's really big members, on that though. Defended Nikki. She's really Nikki big on attacking and bullying because she went through that whole hate train. She's ago. really big on so that. So for her to call Leanne a clown was just unnecessary. It was unnecessary and it was wrong in my opinion. I didn't like that at all. And don't get me wrong, I don't agree with Leanne allegedly um, Leanne and, mm -hmm. and telling them to call out Jesse. I don't agree with that, and I think that's right. unnecessary too. But Leanne is justified uh, in being offended right. by Jesse's obvious ethnic fishing. And yes, yeah, she was quiet about it for a long time, longer than she should have been, but mm. she did eventually call Jesse out. Like you said, I was, I was in a group with two women of color for nine years, and it was never brought up to me right. up until the last music video that right. I did with them, when she like messaged me and said like, Jesse, I just want to make you aware that like, mm. she even went. So as you could hear, Jesse did admit that mm. Leanne made her aware of her black fishing. And some people may be watching this and they may say, what's the big deal? Why is this an issue? And I will say this, how a person chooses to look and dress is honestly their business. And they can look however they want to look. But when you look at a bigger scale, when you look at the industry, you could see that there is a clear agenda to erase black artists from Leanne their, face and their own music and their own culture. Okay. You have white artists like Jesse and others who can easily be successful making soul music. Man, come and on, the only people that say are people that don't understand it and be praised for it. Well, guys, before my video, um, I guess my camera shut off or whatever. Um, I guess it was the end of the video anyway, but I I get both sides, you know. I'm I mainly get Leanne's side because you know, I understand if you feel some way and you like look, it's harder for me to work this way, please don't do this, it offends me. And you know, you let them know and then they continuously do it. And obviously she don't want to be that one person to keep on bringing it up, keep on bringing it up, keep on bringing it up. But you drop a whole single and you do it way more, it's like okay. It's offensive to me. Uh -oh. hip, hip. Boo, you stink! But the way she took it, if alleged she did do what, if she did what people are alleging that she did, it's wrong. You don't text somebody to bash somebody to make you look better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to make you feel better. Because then in the end, stuff like that don't even make you feel better, really. You end up feeling bad and, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I get that. I also understand. I mean, I also agree with how Jesse went about it was the wrong exact way. If you leave a group and you tell them I'm leaving because of my mental health, when you tell them that reason is the only reason that you're leaving, I'm assuming that little makes expected, you know, when you get your mental health back and, and you're feeling a little better, maybe you can come back and join. But when you leave the group, say, oh, it's because of this reason and you drop a song right after you left. So it wasn't because of your mental health with the music industry. It was because you wanted to go solo. You could have just said that. So I understand why they all are upset because it's like you didn't tell us you wanted to go solo. You said you were leaving because the music and all that was putting a strain on you. But clearly it wasn't putting a strain on you because you're out here making music. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they were jealous. I think they were just offended as like Nikki even said, you know somebody for 10 years and they do stuff like that. That don't make you anybody feel offended. And I kind of, you know, Nikki, I understand her point. You know what I'm saying? You, people, people, I feel like she had to offend, I mean, defend her. And Nikki's whole thing is she cannot stand bullying and someone being targeted and hated. You know what I'm saying? And she never said what Jesse was doing with the black fishing thing was correct. 
she said how Leanne was going about it with the saying, oh, she's a horrible person and, and all of this after Jesse left the group is wrong. You know, and I completely agree. You can't be friends with somebody for no 10, 15 years. Throughout the whole year, they're this great, phenomenal person. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have proof of, you know, you, them saying you weren't a good person. Like if I have, if, she, if Leanne had proof where she said many, multiple times to Jesse, Jesse, look, I really don't like you. I feel like you're a terrible person. Then okay. But if you're just saying that because she left the group and went solo, it just comes off like, why are you doing that? Especially to random people. That's that's unnecessary. And I think that's all Nikki was saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she was coming at Leanne in a way it was like, look, leave Jesse alone. Blah, 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 blah. No, she was saying, basically, your approach with it makes you look like a clown. It makes you look stupid. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes the truth hurts. People try to say it's rude, but sometimes the truth hurts. It just hurts. And it's like, it's, it's not it's not to be rude, but it's just like, that's how you come across to me, you know? And I kind of, I agree with Nikki. It's like, if Leanne did do those whole message thing, why you just look stupid? Because you was in a group with her for 10 years, and you're just now deciding to say she's a horrible person and all this. You know what I'm saying? The black fishing thing, you got that. Because she even admitted you told her before that. So that's where she's wrong at. But the whole texting thing, you, you know what I'm saying? And I like Little Mix. Little Mix was a good group. I thought they were going to last so long. Honestly, though, Jessie always gave me the feel of she wanted to be her on her own. Always. She always gave me that feel of she wanted to be on her own and branch out and do her own thing. And it's like, I never expected her to actually do it. But, you know, she did it. So that's kudos to her. Um, like I said, I don't like to see when girl groups fight, but girl groups always come to an end over something, you know what I'm saying? And it's sad that it had to be this. It's sad that you have to block them after, you know, working with them for 10 years. Like I said earlier, they could have done something to her. They, they really could have. It could have been something they did, something they said. So that's fair. But if you leave in that type of way and then on top of that, you try to block us and do all this extra stuff. Come on now, you gotta kind of take accountability for your own self too. Cause like imagine Fifth Harmony, right? Say not only did not, I don't want to talk about the Camilla thing. Say they were all in group. Ally left. She blocks everybody. Like what? That's unnecessary. What the freak? We supported you leaving, and you gonna block us and do all this extra stuff? It makes it, it gives off sneaky vibes. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions if there's any more info to the story that I kind of missed. But as far as I'm concerned, I see both wrongs. I see where Jesse's wrong with the black fishing, and I see where Leanne's wrong with the whole bullying text, I guess we'd say. If she did it, because we don't know if she did it. So yeah. But um, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this video. You know, let me know how you guys feel. If you're a little mix fan, I'm, I'm apologize. Hopefully, they still make out good music work without her. You know, because a lot of times when one person leaves the group, the whole group just end up falling apart low key. And it's just, or they just don't do as good as they did with four people. But I want to see them prosper regardless. You know, they deserve that. They deserve to still prosper regardless. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, like I said. And um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next videos. Bye.